Hi and welcome to Hi on Coding. I'm your host Mohamad Azam and in this particular video I will show you that how you can test your application which is dependent on phone authentication or you can use actually this technique for different purposes also so if you don't have if you're testing something like I'm testing over here login controller uh, and it calls a method on a class that doesn't have any interface or you cannot really mock it out or stub it out then I will show you how you can use a wrapper technique to do that okay so let's go to the login page this is my test which says that when user is authenticated should navigate to the dashboard page so I have a login view model which is like awesome sharp and password is whatever password and I have an authentication service which I created myself so that's why it has an interface and I can uh, mock it out, I can stub it out. I can, I'm saying that, okay, whenever I call the authenticate method on the authentication service, just return me true, okay? Because I'm not testing authentication service at this point, I'm just testing that when the user is authenticated, the view that is returned is the dashboard, all right? So I have this also information and I run the test and it actually fails and saying forms, uh, it fails when form authentication or set cookie is fired. So let's go over there and see what's going on. So basically, this is not initialized. Okay, so when you say set authentication cookie, the problem is it dependent on HTTP context, and HTTP context is not really set from over here. Okay, so the easy way to solve this problem is create a wrapper. So I've created a wrapper. It's called IE authentication, which has the authentication authenticate method and I have a forms authentication wrapper which inherits from I authentication it has an authenticate uh, method which simply authenticate or set the cookie using form authentication all right so I can go over here in my login controller and instead of using this what I can use is the authenticate method so I'm just going to say authenticate and it's going to uh, use the same thing which is a username and then false, okay? Now, since this I authentication is basically an interface, I can stub it out. So I will go to my test, okay? And I will say over here, var, um, you can say fake or something. Let me say, let me get it back. Here we go. So what I'm doing is I'm generating a stub of I authentication, all right? So it will give me a stub, and then I can say whatever I want to say. So I'm saying, okay, you will trigger this I authenticate method, all right? And well, I don't really care what happens, but just trigger this, and I'm also passing it over here, all right? So now run the test. Now there is no dependency on the formed authentication, but the dependency is on I authentication, which is an interface, and I just stubbed it out using an interface, right? Um, and then here we go, so the test actually passed. Before I end this, I, I'd like to show you a really cool tool or a service, it's called Aweber Communications for creating a email marketing campaign. So if you have a website and you are interested in creating email newsletters, okay, so you can use their service to create stunning newsletters. They have over 103 HTML templates that you can choose from. If you have a website, you don't have sign-up forms, you can use their website or their service to create sign-up forms. What whoever registers using that form is displayed very nicely on their website in a report fashion, okay? So do check them out, there's a link, and they're, they're just very, very cool uh, service that every website developer or a website owner should use, all right? That's pretty much it. Uh, one last thing, uh, Hi on Coding is always looking for sponsors for the videos. If you'd like to sponsor a video, email me at azamsharp at gmail.com. If you'd like to donate, guess what? There's a donate page. You can go over there and donate. The donation amount can be as little as $2. And if you like to donate more, then there is a one-time donation. There is a monthly recurrent donation up till $10, which is pretty much nothing these days, I guess, right? Kind of like a 
one lunch is like ten dollars so that's pretty much it i hope you like this video and if you have any suggestion comments rants uh, email me at awesome at gmail.com thank you very much